and uh, welcome to uh, new me. This is mostly a little bit of a small project of mine, just going over like how VTubers have changed from one particular form to another. I have my guest here, uh, Countess Lita. Hello. So, so you can introduce yourself a little bit further before we get to the questions, okay? Hi, hi. So I'm Lita. I'm a ancient internet vampire spider queen uh, these days, anyway. Um, and VTubing for about three years now on my account, which is twitch.tv slash Countess Lita. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get to the quick questions. First question is, what encouraged you to go with your previous form? So to talk about my previous form, um, I used to go by Lita Gemini, um, and I still do in a lot of places. It's like, I think I just recently changed my Steam or my um, Epic handle. My Steam handle might still be the same. Um, and like, it, like I usually use that like even as my name professionally or whatever, because I've had it for so many years. Um, and when I first started doing YouTubing, my concept was like more of a space girl. So I had this like uh, a 1980s kind of space girl retro aesthetic. Um, which is just because, like, I grew up with uh, uh, older cartoons, and I like the fashion of older cartoons, like, like totally 80s, 90s kind of vibe. Um, and I think it just influenced a lot of my aesthetic, like, as an artist, because I drew my own VTuber model when I first started. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of where, like, I started out. Um, and the inspiration, like, for that from, like, a lore perspective was that when I was... Um, in school at one point i had a teacher that i was talking to him about like what my artistic influence was as i just did now and he said to me like i feel like you're a space alien that was sent to earth but only ever watched our cartoons mm -hmm. and i was like yeah i guess that is kind of what i am because i i know a lot about cartoons and i'm very influenced by cartoons um, and I just, I, I reference them all the time and like, it's like my level, my, my lens on the world, I guess. So mm -hmm. I said, well, what if that was my like YouTuber lore? Like, what if I was an alien who was sent to earth from space and all I knew was cartoons and video games? Um, and that was kind of my first concept for, for VTubing. Mm -hmm. All right. Second question. What did changing to your new form signify to you? So I decided to rebrand uh, this year into something a little more goth, which is another side of me because I really like horror games. I really like horror movies. Um, I really like uh, that aesthetic. Uh, I'm into I'm into spiders. They're creepy. They're fun. I a part of it is like I like really like Beast Wars Transformers, and like the spiders on that show are just amazing characters. Mm -hmm. um, but also like characters that are invocative of that kind of aesthetic, like um, Jury Han from Street Fighter is a big inspiration for me. Um, and like now Kafka from Star Rail as well also has like the spider web aesthetic. And I, I, I made this character like right before that game came out. And then uh -huh. I was like, oh shit, she's another spider mommy. That's yep. like my favorite thing. Um, <laughs> and so I was like, oh, okay, what if I did that? Um, I also identify with vampires, um, not in like the Twilight way, but in the like the like blood way. Um, I've lived my whole life with a type of anemia, and I have have to get my blood examined on the regular. And so, like talking about that in a way, like I'm kind of partially vampire myself, so it was kind of a a fun way to twist um, on that. And. Mm. Uh, the other inspiration that I mentioned to my artist or my designer was Elvira, you know, a Mistress of the Dark, um, because first of all, she's so based. Elvira is awesome. Um, I grew up watching like cheesy horror movies with my dad, and that's a big inspiration to me, like aesthetic wise. Um, and what I like about Elvira is like she's sexy and she's smart ass, um, but she's not really like pandering all that much. She just like stands there and is hot and she's talking about the stuff she's doing and the work she's doing. Um, and she's like maintained that hotness throughout her life and she just has a great mystique. <laughs> and what I wanted was that angle, like maybe I have this sexy character, but I'm not personally like a big flirt uh, it, <laughs> as a person. Uh, I'm still kind of a gremlin, I guess. So uh, I would let the character like carry that aesthetic for me and i'm just gonna be my normal dorky self like behind that <laughs> and hopefully that those two things will click 
together in a meaningful way. Mm hmm. All right, and the last question. Any lore reason that led to the change, or if not, any motivation or inspiration behind your new form? Yeah, so when you first ask me about this, like, as new form, I'm like, well, there's not really, like, a consistent story between my character evolved from one thing to another, right? Like, that's not really how I look at it. Like, it's just a rebrand, mm -hmm. um, and I, like, changed the name of my channel. So it's not like I'm writing the story where there's continuity between these two characters or whatever. I, and I know that there are some people that VTube that are more interested in that kind of thing. Like, they want to write this coherent, like, oh, well, am I... I'm role playing super hard, um, and I, I'm not really role playing super hard. Um, and maybe that's the difference between like Western and Eastern VTubing. I don't know, like they're like culturally. Um, I'm more or less still kind of being myself, but the lore for the character is more developed. Um, I do want to release a lore video later this year that kind of talks about like what the character is and you know why why I'm a vampire and how long I've been around. Um, but the nice thing about, and, and I'm going to say like an inspiration also for going vampire was Vesper Noir. And I know he's not like in Hollow Life anymore. But uh, one of the things that I thought was very, very cool about Vesper, even though he like denied being a vampire, and that was part of his deal, um, was that you could be like, you could be old, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like, I, I'm old. Um, and it's weird to be old sometimes in this community. But on the other hand, uh, you know, if I'm 423 years old, uh, you don't have to question it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, yeah, why don't we know shit? I don't know. I'm 423 years old. Mm -hmm. Like, if I talk about shit that happened to me 20, 30 years ago and people are confused by that, I'm like, listen, I'm 423 years old. I've been through a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> right? So <laughs> it's, it's just, it's like an in-joke, but also, like, it's a way of deflecting the fact that I'm one of the older folks in this community, um, and I, it's not like I'm getting any younger. So the, the lore there really helps me to like bring the character out and saying, yeah, I, 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 I know a lot of shit. And the joke is that I'm like super ancient because I know a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, the truth, the reality behind it is that I was a college professor for many years. Um, and so the reason I know a lot of shit is because I was a teacher and I'm going back into teaching and I've been doing that for a while. Wow. So Every time I change jobs, um, and I'm a habitual, like I, I move from thing to thing a lot. Uh, it's hard for me to settle down sometimes and pick what I want to do or be. So I learn a lot of things every time I decide to redefine myself. And in redefining myself this time, it's sort of like let me synthesize all of that and say, you know, this is how far I've come. This is where I've been, and this is why I'm like this. Um, so that's kind of the lore, like the lore behind the character is just the lore of my life in a way. So it's not like a lore reason from changing from one character to another. That's, that was never a part of the equation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Hey, and, uh, it's a pretty interesting journey that, uh, most of us usually go through, especially when we're like getting older, like you said. So it's always going to be that moment of just holding on to that wisdom and just Kind of bring it forward to like the people that watch this too right so what i hope you know people will get out of my channel is you know i'm not making a big deal about being a professor or whatever until like people have questions about that kind of thing mm -hmm. but i'm i've been around the block i've played a lot of video games it's a little weird too because i feel like there's some pressure um for i don't know like a corpo vtuber right to not have experienced a lot of the games that you want to watch on watch because you want to see their like genuine first reaction to your favorite thing. And I'm super guilty of that because like anytime any Hollow Life is playing Devil May Cry, I'm there. I want to want to watch their reaction to it. You know, Kosaki BG was just doing it last night and it's like one of my favorite series. But like for me, it wouldn't be a genuine new first reaction as obviously I've played it. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of I feel like there's some pressure to like be fresh to some older content and you're not going to get that from my channel because I'm so played every almost everything. I mean, obviously there's gaps like nobody can play every single video game. Right. But I taught video games as a teacher. I've experienced a lot of the popular retro 
you know, uh, or like famous titles. Um, and there's a handful that I haven't, you know, which maybe people will suggest to me and say like, oh, you haven't played blah. Like I did Symphony of the Night for the first time a couple years ago and I had not played that. That was just like a gap in my knowledge. Um, but now I've experienced that, so I can't revisit that again with fresh eyes. I will play it again on my stream uh, because the joke was that I was playing it on Father's Day and that was very funny to me. Um, so this year, my big exciting stream plan is to do a Father's Day subathon where I only play games where you fight your dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's a very interesting concept. <laughs> right, because as I was thinking about it, like, there's so many video games where you fight your dad and that I made a whole list of them. Um, and it's a pretty long list. So as long as people keep subbing, we'll keep killing dads and we'll just see how we make it. <laughs> People are like, what about games where you are the dad? I'm like, no, there's way more of those, and mm -hmm. it's not as funny. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, it's funny to get to the part of the game where you fight your dad and be like, okay, I fought my dad, the game is over now. <laughs> like, sometimes your dad's the last boss. Sometimes yeah. he's in the middle of the game. Sometimes he's the secret boss. Uh, sometimes it's a secret that that guy's your dad. Like, it's like it's a funny gimmick to me. Um, I, uh, I really love my dad, by the way, so mm -hmm. hopefully he won't think. And my dad knows about my channel, so I'm going to try and call him and be like, by the way, just so you know, I'm doing this thing. Um, but uh, I don't know, I got on a tangent there a little bit. That's but no just worries. to kind of give you, like, you know, a, a little bit of background about why uh, I have a character that I'm talking about as being an old person mm -hmm. is because I've experienced so many video games. And it's hard for me to say, like, oh, this is brand new. I've never touched this before. When that would be a lie. And sometimes I feel like I could lie about it. Be like, guys, I've never played this before. <laughs> you know, like, if I were to get, somehow get, uh, like, chained to an agency and they would, you know, give me a brand new avatar, I would totally pretend to not have played some of these games <laughs> and just be like, yeah, I've never played this. And then halfway through, you could tell that I'm fucking lying through my teeth because yeah. obviously I've played it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've played this a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, this, I'm just a wide, the, the wise master that hides his strength clearly just to let the pupils kind of catch on. So right, it's yeah, it's totally, it's totally beginner's luck. I don't know why I'm so good at this game that I've totally <laughs> never played before a million times. She is lying. Yeah, yeah, that's because that's the vibe, because people want to see, like, you know, fresh reactions to older games um but like i said like i'm guilty of that because i will turn on those streams like oh they're playing blah 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 game i love oh mm -hmm. i'm so there i I've, I've got to watch that and see like what they how they react to it like i've become one of those viewers mm -hmm. and i know because you get those viewers in your chat like if you're playing a particular game they'll only show up for that game yeah um which you know is, i hope that eventually i get to the point where people show up for me but that's everybody's dream right yeah um especially if you're like a variety streamer like myself and i think most vtubers are more variety streamers and don't always play the same game mm -hmm. more power to people who can stick to the same game or the same content over and over again i'm trying to be more consistent about it like this is the day i play this this is the day i play this this is the day i play this people know when to tune in for the thing they want to watch um and i think that that is a good strategy to have but there will be a point like when I'm done with Baldur's Gate, for example, and people who are tuning in for that maybe won't follow me to the next RPG that I play. Right. You know, if I'm going to go to Final Fantasy Remake or whatever, it's next on my plate. Uh, I think Cyberpunk is going to be next on my plate after Baldur's Gate. Um, so maybe people are not interested in Cyberpunk. They're only interested in Baldur's Gate. Um, it just that's just kind of how it'll be. OK, OK. Oh, I feel like I've gone on a pretty long tangent, but hopefully this has helped you with uh, your project. Ah, this is, it's great. It, I mean, the thing is, it was supposed to be like some quick questions, but just having someone just kind of talk out a bit more about what they do, how passionate they are about what they are doing with their VTubing stuff, it's, it's worth, it's worth its weight in gold at that point. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Um, and I hope that I also answered the questions that you had about, you know, changing brands changing forms yeah no, um, why i chose to do that and what the what the evolution of that decision was all about yeah you're pretty much on the money at that point great 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 and uh to anybody that's interested in watching your content or just following along with you do you have any kind of like uh stuff that you can maybe just chill out for a moment yeah so on twitch it's countess lita l-i-t-a 
Um, on YouTube, same thing. If you want to watch my VODs, mostly the Baldur's Gates VODs get posted. I have posted, like, Mario RPG as well. Play a lot of RPGs, horror games. Um, I'm going to be posting Alan Wake come this coming week. Um, and do... Uh, uh, um, on Twitter as well. Yeah, so Twitter and Blue Sky, actually, which is... I, I don't see a lot of people on Blue Sky, but I am on Blue Sky. Uh, all the same username, so you can find me in all those places. All right, excellent. It was a pleasure in interviewing with you, Lita, and I uh, hope Thanks. you have a wonderful day as well. Good luck with the rest of your interviews as well, and have a terrific day. You too. Take care.